I want to have humility when I blow my trumpet. I don't want to get, you know, it's not. It's not that. It's Today I'm on my way to see a storage company to deliver some training on their premises. They rang us up a week ago and said, do you do website training? We do all kinds of training, sales, whatever, right? I said, yeah, we do. You've got a choice. You can go to a group session, we'll put one of those on for you, where there are other businesses there, or I'll just come and see you, and I'll train you personally, bespoke, tailored to your own needs and your own business. And there's a big difference, we've done both. In a group session, all the attendees are at different levels of knowledge, especially in digital marketing and IT and WordPress. And so people come along, and we've tried it, you know, what level are you? And they say, we're basic. And when they turn up, they're good. Well, they say they're good, and when they turn up, they're basic. And so you have lots of questions, it's quite fragmented, and it's very difficult to manage and make sure everybody gets what they want. And so our preference is not to do groups is to do one-to-one -one bespoke training, sit down, you don't watch what I do, I watch what you do, and embed the training, that way you remember. So we'll see, that's what she's opted for, I will let you know how it goes, and what she says later. Just help yourself to my lips, to my arms, just say the word, and I'll get you just help yourself to the love, in my heart, your smile has opened. Just left the training with the storage company and thoroughly enjoyed it. They were two of the nicest people I think I've ever met, husband and wife, and uh, I got cake and tea and yeah. What we did is in the first part, we would do training or we did training that I would argue a lot of people wouldn't think is required or wouldn't think merits payment. <laughs> which is the very, very basics. How to add text to a page. How to make it bold, how to put formatting on that text, how to put links into pages, how to add images, all the things which may seem blindingly obvious, but when you don't use software for gaps of two, three months, you forget. And you know, anybody would. I've got software like that. If I don't use it every day, I forget how to do it. So, we did a review of the very, very basics, and I promised her I would make some short videos so that when she does forget, which she will, she can go and have a look, and I, I, I might include those underneath this video. So we covered the fundamental minimum required knowledge to add sales and marketing content to a website. When you do that kind of training, this is the difference between group training and one-to-one -one training, it is laced with consultancy. If I show you, or we look at, which we were, a blog post, in training, I say, here's a blog post, this is how you do it, this is how you edit it, this is it, that is it. But in a one-to-one -one scenario, we say, this is how you do it, this is what you do. By the way, you've done it wrong. That is the difference between group and bespoke one-to-one -one training, is you can't do that in a group. You can't, you don't have time individually to say, this hasn't been set up properly. But today, I could. I said, you know, I've looked at your, your page, I've looked at how you've set it up. From a Google perspective, this is wrong. And this is exactly what I would do to fix it. So there's training and learning because you can see exactly how and what to do. Um, yeah, that's a massive benefit because at the end of the training, I don't walk out of there and, and she says, yeah, I've learned a bit. I've remembered some of it. You know, she says, I've learned a bit, I've remembered some of it, and while you were here, you enhanced the performance of our website and online marketing well, significantly. Because most things that prevent good performance in digital marketing are very simple things that have been overlooked. I didn't put a word here. I did put a word there. You know, that sort of thing. And so we did that, and I think she was happy with that. At that point, we moved on to What's the word? Thinking like Google, which I've talked about before. Just, it's not enough just to add content. So I started explaining to her 
how Google's a computer, how words are binary numbers, sequences are binary numbers, and that if you do not use the terminology, Google cannot respond to the terminology. And we talked about phrases, not keywords, all the things I've spoken about in other videos. And that's kind of a, a mind... What's the word? Mind blower for most people if they don't know. Which is, you're not using words at all. You're using sequences of numbers on a search engine. But on the plus side, once you think like Google, you can optimise on anything. Facebook, Google+, whatever it might be. So we talked about where and how. Every time she adds some new content, you must follow these key steps. You must do this every time. And every page is an opportunity for a ranking, okay? And she understood that. So, we then played a game. She called it a game. I said, your target market, if they could type one thingy, what would they type? And so she told me. I said, well, I'm having a go now. I said, I think they're gonna type this. Blah, blah, blah. I said, your go. So we did that three or four times, at which point she, she pointed out that she didn't like my game. <laughs> Oh, it's quite a hard game to play, <laughs> which is, you know, you actually have to think how your target market think. <laughs> and uh, once you've done like three or four phrases in a row, it's kind of giving you a headache job. So, yeah, I quite like that. So said, I don't like your game. I, said, I don't care. <laughs> We're playing. And so we did. So we wrote down ten phrases, picked the main one and so on, and optimised the site. Then moved into social media training, which we kept basic because they don't do any social media and weren't sure why they would. So I adopted the minimum every business should do, which is have a profile that is optimised with keywords and has nice pictures on, because that increases your chance of being found significantly. And when you are found, People look at your sales content and say, yes, please. So we created a profile on Google Plus so she could get in local search results. That took 10 minutes. And next will be Facebook and Twitter. Is she gonna put regular content out on social media? Definitely not. Definitely not. Once a month, a, a push. So it's not going to be for that purpose. It's gonna be, here's my profile. It's another web page on social media. You index. The most common, common issue came up in every business when it comes to, well, sales and marketing really, not even websites, which is, I asked, why would I pick you over someone else? And they had some compelling reasons, which is you had more space, less chance of damage, more security, lived on site, all of these great things that they don't mention on their homepage, which means no one knows. So they put out a load of content on the homepage which said, this is what we are, this is what we do, this is what, what, what. But actually what I really want to see is, this is why. This is why I'm the best. This is why I'm better. And because they're lovely people, at the end of the meeting they said, we don't like to blow our own trumpet. At which point I said, well, no one else is going to blow it for you. <laughs> which sadly is true. No one else is going to blow it for you. And so... Blowing your own trumpet doesn't mean sounding a, you know what I mean, you don't have to sound a complete arrogant so-and-so to blow your own trumpet. In fact, you can blow your own trumpet factually. I said to her, what we just wrote, you just wrote on the website, that was blowing your own trumpet, you know, I've got more space, I do this, I'm better than that, I'm better than that, you know, I said, you know, it's, just blowing your own trumpet. I said, well, you made me. <laughs> I said, yes, I know. Um, <laughs> but it's still the right thing to do. There is no point being, what's the word? Modest in business. There's definitely a point to being, what's the word? The opposite of arrogant, as in not respectful. You know, I want to be. I want to say I'm the best, but I don't want to do it in a way that makes me sound like I think I'm the best. 
I want to do it with respect and I want to do it with humility. Jeez, that was hard work, wouldn't it? I want to have humility when I blow my trumpet. I don't want to get, you know, it's not... It's not that, it's... Humility. I want to be very powerful in coming forward with humility. And that is the training. Very basics enable you to be able to add new content. Content is sales and marketing content. When you add it, it has multiple purposes. It has purposes to get people to engage with you, and it has purposes to be ranked and found. Once you put out your content, do not put out factual, boring messages. Say, I am the best with humility. And if you do that, you get seen by more people, and the more people that arrive on your website or wherever, in marketing terms, more of those, in terms of conversion, sales conversion, become customers. But to sum up, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Primarily because they were lovely people with a bit too much humility, who are rather brilliant at what they do. And that is what happened.